Hello there, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are on day two, day two of recipes for 31 days. Day two, it is December the 2nd. Welcome and I'm glad you're joining me today. Today's recipe is gonna be quick, simple, easy. It's what I'm known for. Wait a minute. Jesus, that ain't come out right. Let me go back. Today's recipe is gonna be super easy and simple and you are gonna enjoy it. You're gonna to wanna to add this recipe to your collection and you're gonna to wanna to share it with your family and your friends. It is a perfect recipe for the holiday season. It's super, super, did I say easy already? It's just that, it's just that really. It's only a couple ingredients that we're gonna be working with today and within 15 minutes, you're gonna have a dessert and you're gonna thank me for it. So the ingredients that we have are wonton wrappers. So we have some wonton wrappers and we also have, I'm using vegan cream cheese today. This is not a sponsored video. It's just the cream cheese that I like. And so I have a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon, 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 a little bit of cinnamon and sugar to sprinkle on our tasty, delicious creations. And then I also have a little bit of, we're gonna use some white sesame seeds. I have some crushed nuts. You can use the nuts of your choice, but I have Brazil nuts here. And then I have everything already cut. I have everything already cut. Um, it's pretty good. I cut them and I, I cut them, see? I use a cookie cutter to cut them. So that is what we're gonna be using. We also have um, some honey. I have two tablespoons of honey and I also have some vegan butter. I have a teaspoon of vegan butter. And so all I did was I took the honey took the honey, honey, vegan butter. I took that and I already have one made here. I already have one made, but this is what it looks like. See, that's what it looks like. I microwaved it for like 20 seconds. So I'm gonna set this aside, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in here. Add this in here. And then I just microwave it. So micro, microwave it. 10 seconds, you're good. So I'm gonna sit that right there because we already have some that's here. We have some that's here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave. My holiday dance, that's that auntie that doesn't have too much fun, had a little nip, and she dancing. Come here, baby, dance. Come here, dance for me. Go on and dance for your auntie. Dance for your auntie, baby. And so, that is all the way heated. I'm gonna pop that there. Actually, I'm just gonna incorporate all of this together. I actually let it stay in here a little longer than I anticipated, but that's okay. Pop that there. I'm going to put my spoon there. You can use a brush to brush it. I did it. When I was testing this recipe, I did it with a spoon. And the spoon worked just fine. So we're going to do that again. And that is all of the ingredients for this recipe. All of the ingredients. So I'm going to move this up. Uh, before I do that, though, the scraps, you can use these for... Um, you can use these for recipes. Just put a little brown sugar, the cinnamon sugar on it and coat it with some of the mixture. Pop it in the oven for um, six minutes. Um, actually, they're smaller. So pop it in the oven. Check at three to four minutes to see if they're still not golden brown. Then you can go ahead and cook them the entire five to six minutes. So I'm gonna set that there because we leave no wonton wrapper left behind. So I'm gonna sit that there. I'm going to grab my baking sheet with my Silpat liner, Silpat liner. And my oven has been heated to 400 degrees already. So we're just going to hop right on in this recipe because 
y'all got things you do and so do I. So I'm just gonna lay my, I'm just gonna lay my discs down. My pre-cut wontons, I'm gonna lay them down. From two by two, two by two, like they did on Noah's Ark. Kind of gonna put those there. Everything's there, everything's there, nice and neat. And this is what it looks like. That is what it looks like. So, just as simple. I'm gonna grab a paper towel, cause I know I'm off. I left. I'm gonna grab. I grabbed a paper towel. I moved. I moved. So, pop that there. Now I'm going to take some of my um, vegan butter and honey mixture. And that's okay. I'm gonna move my pan so my camera can pick it up. I'm gonna take my vegan butter and honey mixture. I'm just gonna just put it in there on a little circle, making sure you coat it a good thin layer is what you want to do. I'm actually, well, whilst we're doing this, use a little bit of my Elizabethan. Y'all can tell that I read the King James Bible a lot. So, um, whilst we are doing this, I am, I am ready for the holiday season. I am going to use this recipe as a dessert for myself this year. Um, just because um, it really is quick, it's easy, and it's so small. It's really small, so it packs a punch, gives you just the right amount of sweetness without eating a whole slice of cake or pie or whatever it is that we consume during the holiday season. So now, I'm gonna take my brown sugar and I'm gonna sprinkle it on there. Just a good, just a good sprinkling. Just a good little pinch. Now, if you got a sweet tooth, um, if you have a sweet tooth, you could put a little bit more on here. I really don't want that much on here because I want to still have the, just a bit of sweetness. Cause gotta stay in the gym. Don't wanna go to the gym too much cause I'm eating too many calories that are sugar loaded. Don't wanna do that. Do absolutely do not wanna do that. So now I'm going to sprinkle some of my nuts on here. Yeah, I'm gonna sprinkle some of my Brazil nuts on here. And again, you can use any nut of your choice. Um, I will note that when you're sprinkling on um, your nuts on there, make sure that they are are like a good finely crushed. The bigger they are, the longer it'll take to cook, and um, they they may not be as crispy as you would like them to be. So I'm gonna do some with them. I'm gonna do three with. Three with. I'm gonna set that there. I actually am going to use some sesame now. Some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds are so good. They're nice and crunchy. It gives it a little bite. And then I'll do, I'm gonna do three sesame, three with nuts, and then two just plain. So the two that are just plain, I will add a little bit more of brown sugar and cinnamon so it can really like caramelize on there and get a good crunch, a good coating on there. So we're going to pop this in the oven for exactly six minutes. Our dessert wontons are in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and get started on our filling. I have my vegan cream cheese here, which it, it's like super, super. This stuff is amazing. It's amazing. I did a recipe with it where I um, actually made, pop that, pop that in there. I actually made, um, some 
acorn squash mash. And so I used this in lieu of butter. And when I say it was so creamy, so creamy. So in here I have two tablespoons. I have two tablespoons. I'm gonna grab my lid from over here. I'm reaching all over there. Should have it right here in front of me, Jesus. So I have it. I'm going to put in some agave nectar. I have like a teaspoon of the agave nectar. And I could mix this another way, um, but it's okay. Because I'm not making a big amount, a big quantity. So I'm going to just do a light little mix here in my little bowl and call it a day. Call it a day. Do it real quick. So I pray that everybody's day has been good so far. Mine is going pretty good. And I'm almost done with this. That sounds like somebody tapping on Broadway. That was my encore. If I did that, they would draw the curtain and be like, it's a wrap. Okay, so that is done. My filling is done, just that simple. Just that simple, let me clean this off. Now that our wontons are out of the oven, I'm going to grab them. And I actually let them cool down for, let's see if you can see that, yes. I let them cool down for about three minutes, three to five minutes, somewhere around in there, depending upon um, how quick they, they crisp up. Normally it's three to five minutes. So these are good and they're good and crispy. So with that being said, I do want to remind you that everyone's oven is not calibrated the same. I have mine set to 400. Yours may take 375 it, if it cooks a lot higher or a lot faster. So do make a note of that and just stay on top of it. I would look right around four minutes if they're still not, um, if they're still not like golden brown, this is because of the sugar. But if they're still like not this color, then um, go ahead and leave it in there about another, another minute. But watch it like every 30 seconds pretty much because I don't want you to have them too brown. They'll still taste good, but this color holds, um, packs a, a greater punch and they taste a lot better. Okay, so we are about to plate it up. So I have the wontons. This is what they look like. See, I have the wonton. That one has the um, Brazil nut on there. And this one has the sesame seed on there. And then this is just the plain brown sugar one. Okay. Cinnamon sugar, I mean. I stand corrected. So now we're just going to layer it up. We're going to layer it up. So it doesn't matter in which way you do it. If you choose not to put any, any nuts on them at all or sesame seeds, make these your own. But do um, be mindful of the toppings that you put on there. If you stack them up, it may not cook all the way through. Do make a note of that. So I am going to just start piling. Just gonna start um, assembling, not piling. I have an offset, oh, my offset spatula. Not, not like offset the wrapper, but my offset spatula. There we go. And I'm just gonna put this on here, just like a good little layer. I made some mango sauce, which was super easy. You could put any sauce on there, or if you don't wanna put on any sauce on there at all, or fresh fruit or whatever. And that is my timer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off real quick. That was my timer to let me know that our dessert was nice and crispy. So do set timers for yourself. So I'm going to do that. That's my first layer. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a couple of them. 
super easy super quick easy no time at all no time at all and I'm gonna go ahead and top this one too top them we're gonna have a nice little stack here and I'm gonna show you in just a second let me grab another spoon from behind me and I'm gonna put a little bit a little bit of our mango it's more like a chutney it's not a sauce it's more like a chutney I'm gonna put that on top of there gonna add a little bit more add a little bit more of our mango and then I'm going to add another one of these and we are going to add a little bit more of the mango and it's really just layering it all together um, however you want to do it if you want to do it without fresh fruit no fruit sauce um, chutney or otherwise it's your dessert make it how you want it to be so I'm going to we're gonna have a good little stack here we're gonna have a good stack here because presentation is everything people eat with their eyes okay and I'm gonna add our next our next one a little bit more cream cheese too if you want to that is totally up to you this is your dessert remember that remember that and finally we'll do this and we are going to do a dollop of our cream cheese our vegan cream cheese mixture and then I just have some diced mangoes that we're going to just put the mangoes down and just that simple our recipe just that quick too our recipe is over with I want to add a drizzle of honey look at that I want to direct <laughs> I want to add a drizzle of honey on mine so I'm just gonna do that and there you go quick simple easy and very I might add these are very inexpensive and they go a long way look how pretty that is see that looks amazing it looks amazing so I'm going to hop into this, grab a fork, grab a fork. I'm going to hop into this and I'm going to use a knife. You know what? I'm going to try to be cute. I'm going to pick this up. I'm pick it up. Pick it up, Jesus. It's a lot. When I say this tastes good, this tastes good. Every layer is crispy, crunchy, and you can taste the sesame seed and the toasted Brazil nuts, the brown sugar, the cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar, Artie, cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar reminds me of cinnamon toast that I used to have as a kid back in the Midwest. Shout out to Ohio. But this is so good if you put some fresh fruit on there it's going to brighten it up even more this is delicious and i know that um i ate with my hand so don't drop in my comments and try to get with me you try to eat this without using your hands and so that does it for today day two december the second it is your second recipe this is just simple 
is dessert wontons. The recipe will be down in the comments below. If you have any questions or anything, drop in the comments and let me know and I will answer them for you. Be sure, be sure. If you have any questions, drop down in the comments below and let me know and I will be sure to answer them for you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned. Tomorrow we will be on day three, recipe three of 31 days of recipe. Until then, peace.